for there? I think it's ready to okay. roll. Yep. All right. Hi, everybody. Thank you. And uh, welcome to Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Today is Thursday, November the 3rd, 2022. Um, on the agenda, I have Hacktoberfest, so probably this is going to be the um, the last update from Jean-Marc for, for Hacktoberfest for this year. And then I have the October newsletter on the agenda, GSOC 2023 already, Jenkins election. So um, Kevin, if you want to talk about that later, and then uh, I have Fostum and the Contributor Summit. Is there anything else that I should add? Um, CDF news. Okay. Or, or CDF, it's, it's more a question because there were some requests there during the month of October. Okay. So we'll we'll discuss about that when we reach that, that point. Yeah, and maybe a shameless plug about me giving a talk next week on Jenkins at DevOps Mobile. Hmm. So it's advocacy. <laughs> yep. Uh, Bruno, if you have a link to that, you can add it here. I do. Be great. I'll, yep. So, okay. I'll do that. Okay. So, Oktoberfest. Jean Marc, I will hand it over to you. I'll ma I make it short because I have the impression that I, I keep repeating myself on all the various channels. But this is an important channel I hear. So, um, the participation was really good uh, this year. And we were able to reach out to uh, very experienced people, but also to first time contributors uh, all over the globe. So that was really uh, a, a great event. Um, so we ended up with um, having 95 contributors completing uh, over 500 PRs uh, that are Hacktoberfest uh, complete. So very good. Uh, participation to that. Uh, Kevin and myself are going to write um, a, a blog post about the facts, but also the stories uh, behind this year's Hacktoberfest. I had very interesting discussions uh, with various participants, uh, with various um, uh, experience uh, with with the Jenkins project. So. Uh, what were the motivations? What was their advice to new contributors and, and so on? So this is what I can say in a couple of minutes about Hacktoberfest. Okay, I think it's great. We've captured, um, I basically copy and paste your um, update for the newsletter here. So we've yes. got the stats here. So I think that's perfect. The, the little uh, footnote, so the one uh, uh, under, so you can either remove that or it's a link to uh, the small tool that I used to compute the figures. So I can give you the URL for that. Okay. If you want. Um, so I was not able to remove, I, I'm not able to remove this right now. Like then remove the one just behind strong, above, above mm -hmm. higher. Strong. First line of the paragraph, right? Yeah. To the okay. Right. right here. No, ah. the, the, there. And just delete the one. Ah. There we go. <gasps> Thank you. Okay. Um, moving on. Uh, the October newsletter draft is ready for pull requests. Thank you, Bruno. I So I haven't checked. I've been in meetings since this morning, so I haven't checked status on that. But since our conversation last night or yesterday, Bruno, I just put it here. So hopefully that's yeah. okay. Thank you. Uh, the preview yeah. um, feature is off for the time being, so I can see how it looks for everybody, but the PR is done. I hope to get it reviewed by tonight. So we'll see, hopefully it will be published tomorrow morning at worst. Okay, perfect. That's great timing. And then uh, uh, per Gavin's 
um, Mogan's suggestion that we should start making the draft public and allowing people to add comments or input for the next newsletter. So I will be creating a form for that and I will be sharing the draft um, via community.jenkins.io. So that will be for the November newsletter. Okay. Cool. And then for JSOC 2023, I've already started the discussion um, on community.jenkins.io. So basically the usual stuff. We need volunteers as mentors, as org admins, and um, project ideas. So thank you, Jean-Marc and Chris Stern, who has volunteered to come back as org admin. So I will be org admin as well. Um, so I'll be reaching out to individuals uh, to get volunteers for, as mentors and project ideas. But if you have any suggestions, please add your comments to the discussion on discourse. And then Kevin, do you want to go over the election portion? Yeah, sure thing, Alyssa. Um, so uh, first things first, we published a blog post on the 20th explaining that the elections are open, voter registration, nominations are open. Um, there was a tweet and post on the morning of the 25th to share all that with everyone. Um, we are currently at 17 uh, folks in the voter registration group, so uh, we're hoping that we can um, signal boost this in some way shape or form uh mark mentioned we're going to send out some more emails and stuff for users um, but we have a ton of newer users uh, and uh with the fact that we know how many new users or newer users we there have been uh and the voter numbers uh, much further away from that uh, so we want to try and make sure that that's getting uh recognized uh, or, or at least uh, highlighted for folks yeah, Kevin, maybe something to mention in the communication we do that if we're participated to elections the previous years, we have to register again. Yes, that's actually a good point, John Mark. I have so, uh, I hadn't thought about it since I wasn't here last year, but that's a good call yeah, because I, it is two different groups um, yeah. for voter registration. That's absolutely right. Uh, so thank you for call out. Um, and then um, let's see, I think Mark, I think has plans and ideas for uh, who are gonna be candidates for at least four of the positions, officer positions. Um, and then the voting in, uh, voting registration is open until November 17th. The nomination period is open till November 10th. So that's coming up a lot sooner. Uh, and then the voting is gonna run from uh, November 17th when voting registration closes. Uh, that's also going to be the day we announce candidates, share their uh, statements, and uh, basically set everything up for the actual voting. Uh, and then uh, December 2nd is the last day of the current term. So uh, December 3rd, the new uh, folks will step into their roles, um, but we may have a little uh, runoff after the fact due to the timeframes this year. And so uh, we might just announce them a little bit later than usual. Uh, typically, it's around the 3rd or 4th. It might be a little later this year. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm, uh, going for the documentation officer role, uh, and Alyssa has noted that she's going for the events officer role. Um, I, and I am not hundred percent sure on what everyone else is doing, but at the very least we do plan to have some representation or at least try to, uh, so, uh, all in all, it's going really well. We just need to, uh, get a little bit more communication if possible around the election and, uh, yeah, I, I'm more than happy to help uh, creating any communications or anything like that. Uh, I'm just not as well versed in how to get that to people. So uh, I'm more than happy to collaborate, connect with anyone. Uh, Alyssa, John Mark, if, 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 if anyone can help me, uh, maybe yeah. get some ideas going or, or yeah, like I said, uh, boost that. That'd be great. So Kevin, uh, have we sent out uh, a email to the mailing list, like the users and the developer mailing list? So that I don't know for sure, Alyssa. I can definitely check okay. in with Mark later this afternoon um, when we have some time because yeah. uh, I I know he had mentioned that uh, just a few moments ago that uh, the plan is to send more notifications out 
and emails okay. and stuff. Uh, but I just I just don't know the the back back end work of that and what needs to be done for that. So yeah, yeah. I yeah I can work with you on that. I can also check. Okay. I I had like I said I haven't been on email um, this this morning, so I can definitely check and then okay. I'll work with you on that as well. Perfect. And, that sounds great. And then for uh, community.jenkins.io, do we mm -hmm. send a communication there? Uh, like posting a thread? Yeah. Uh, I want to say Damien actually created a thread for it. Um, okay. He said, yeah, he. I, I'm pretty positive Damien actually created a thread on community already for it. I'll okay. double check though and make sure. Okay. All right. Yeah. If it's not there, then we can, that's another place for us to put as well. Um, and then I'm looking at the date. So I think once we get closer to like the deadline of the nomination, then we can send out another tweet and do mm -hmm. another LinkedIn. Same thing for the voter registration. Yeah, just to signal the end of one period, but you know, still showing that there's still events happening and you can still register and all that stuff. So right. So I'll put those dates on my calendar and to remind me to send out tweets. So I'll be sending out proposals. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You bet. Thank you. Uh, FOSTEM, so we know the date. And I think, I believe the organizers are still playing with, with whether that the event's going to be in person or online at the moment. I... Um, Olivia sent me a message last night and he says that hopefully we'll see you in Belgium, uh, you know, if it's an in-person event. But I did submit a, um, an application for our stand. And Bruno, I put you as a secondary person. I hope that's okay. I needed to come up with somebody. <laughs> that's perfectly okay. And I received the email from uh, FOSDEM saying that uh, they were still reviewing your proposal to have a stand at FOSDEM. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So our stand is there. Um, so I think the the call for participation for speakers is going to be November 5th. I looked around on their website yesterday and I couldn't really find a link to where we can make submissions for our talks. So I'm thinking that's probably not yet available, but once I have that, I will definitely share it with the team so that we can um, submit our speaking opportunities at um, in the CICD dev room. Okay, um, anything else that we need to share for FOSTEM before I move on? Okay, then the Contributor Summit, we have notes here on the context of it, what we want to do, but um, I just haven't come around to it because it's year end and I've been working on budgeting numbers. So um, we need to talk about that. And November, I can't believe like the holidays is just around the corner. So, um, so we need to come up with a date and time for this um, mm -hmm. quickly. So I will be working on that. And let me see. CDF news. So, um, John Mark, this is, you just showed uh, what we discussed uh, yeah. last week about that. Yes, we weren't there. Yep. So, um, so there was a request uh, for. Uh, I didn't follow it closely, so I, mm. I need to remember. But there was a request from CDF to have the a confirmation of the official Jenkins representative. Mm -hmm. for the CDF advocacy and outreach SIG. Yeah. So okay. I've seen some mail pass uh, and uh, I, I think the position from the people that were involved in that discussion was, well, okay, we'll, we'll wait and see for uh, the results of the November elections, the Jenkins okay. November elections. I see. Uh, okay. Yeah, and, I don't, you have yeah, I don't mind joining. I, I don't mind joining their um, their meetings uh, or being on their committee because I've done that in the past. So, but yeah. you know, there's always room for more than one of us to be there. So, um, but one, at least one. there's always one person covering. Yeah. So we need we need to follow uh, that. Uh, it's important that we keep the connection with the CDF. Yeah. A good quality connection. John Mark, can you forward that communication to me? Now you're scaring me. 
Oh, uh, I don't it, remember uh, seeing it. Um, I, I need to dig. It will okay. not be today. So I need okay, to dig no about that. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, don't worry. I can also reach out directly to CDF as well. Yeah. So let me do that instead. Yeah, we can we can listen. Uh, we can listen to the, to that. I'll I'll dig. My end of October was a little bit hectic. Yeah. Yeah. So I need yeah. Summary for that. Okay. Um, okay, we got Bruno. Your talk here. Thank you for adding that. Um, should I add this to our Jenkins calendar? I think we should. It's As you online. please. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a master class, you know, it's just 25 minutes of me speaking of Jenkins and Android, my discoveries, because I was a Jenkins newbie a few months ago. Mm -hmm. I still I still am, but I was a total newbie a few months ago. So that's just my path, my journey with Jenkins. So if you're an experienced Jenkins user, uh, don't come to this session. If you want to know more about mobile CI CD uh, within Jenkins, uh, yes, you can come and you'll be welcome. And this is going to be in person, Bruno? Unfortunately, no. That's why I say everybody can come except the Jenkins expert. It's um, an online summit, you know, because COVID and everything. So, okay. Okay. I'll... I have a last topic to add. Yes. Let me go uh, back to my. Are we okay with that? Yeah. Sure. Uh... There, when Mark and you were on holiday, mm -hmm. uh, there were some questions about accessing the Twitter account. Mm -hmm. uh, so we need to review uh, the, the access to the Twitter account, how we do it, uh, how is the access shared? And there were some good ideas flying around that need to be investigated. If we could automate this so that we have an audit trail uh, and, and uh, do some, some technical voodoo that's going to make your life more difficult, Elisa. <laughs> no! But... <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I think Gavin proposed to make something around the GitHub action so Alisa could yeah. become an official reviewer of the pull request corresponding to an upcoming tweet. So Yeah, it, it, will, it would work that way. Yeah. No, no, that's I don't okay. want to scare Elisa, but... Uh, Only two that... weeks of training and you'll be ready to go. No. Oh. <laughs> No, no, 10 minutes will be sufficient. Don't don't be afraid. I didn't want to, no. to, to scare you, Alyssa. And we'll be but there to help. I the, was enjoying what we have right now. <laughs> oops. Yeah, but then we then we need to tell you that you're not able to go on holiday anymore. Yeah. Especially mm. together with Mark. So there mm. we, we ran into and, an issue. Uh, yeah. but this doesn't happen that often. Yeah. Uh, so there's no urgency, but I I like the idea from from Gavin, and mm -hmm. it can be done in such a way that we say, well, this is a pool of people that can submit a tweet. This mm -hmm. is a review process of that, and there's no need to have the password for the Twitter account. So it would work that way. Okay. And we can make it in a, a user friendly way. Uh, for That'd you. be helpful. So, so that means that, so even people who currently do not have access to the Twitter account are able to submit proposals for tweets. Is that how? Yes. Yeah, so, it uh, it will be that uh, either everybody or a group of people can propose a tweet, mm -hmm. and then there is a dedicated group of people uh, that are allowed to approve it. And okay. uh, instead of asking on, on the Gitter uh, channel, uh, could someone upvote uh, the send mm -hmm. that we have a more formal process for that and supported by technology Okay. Uh, for that. So, but here, there is no hurry for that. Uh, it's only something we need to investigate, but because I think it will happen again. 
mm. and let's let's be prepared and uh, have a playbook for that. And, yeah, and if we can because if somebody something. wants to tweet during Thanksgiving, we are doomed. <laughs> So that means that somebody has to approve it, right? So there's going to yeah. be another person that has to approve it. Yeah, yes. a group of or, persons, And we so can anybody... set a rule that two people from that that group need to review it and approve it. And when mm -hmm. this is done, then it's fired. Okay. But All right. here we can describe that because this is what I understood from the conversation with Gavin. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, let's not forget to work on that. Okay. Um, so when do we want to work on that? And we we're going to set, to set that uh, in the priority list. I think there are more urgent things to do right now. Okay. But we, the, my fear is that we forget it. So yeah. this right. is why we should put it on the to do list, right. not on the top, but on the to do list. Okay. And the intention was not to scare you, Alyssa. <laughs> Kevin, can you help me? <laughs> Bruno. I will, that's for sure. I will. Uh, we need, I have we need to design. We, we we need to design a system that that you can do it alone in in the, uh, your. Yeah, I think if if I do it often enough, it should be okay. Yeah, will be. But... The, the rule the rule is once you have done it 21 times <laughs> then you'll know it this is this is the rule when training uh, kids and dogs yes practice makes perfect yeah. right that's right okay I, think, I fear i ruined Alyssa's day yeah, yeah you're making me a bit nervous but i'll 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 grow up i'll, I'll grow up i promise i will grow up and <laughs> i'll get with it before um, we leave, you will be able to do a full Jenkins I.O. pull request. Oh. I, I, I'm not leaving before. Okay. I have a year. I have a year to learn, right? <laughs> a year and a half. A year yeah. and a half. And, and I will not leave before you can, you can do that. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'll update this after the meeting. Um, Mark, we're actually ending. Uh, we're pretty much done with all of our topics. Anything thank, that you... Thank you. I just needed to drop in and see how we're doing on election promotion. That was the thing. It looks like you've got the topic already, so I'll read the notes. Okay. Uh, yeah. We need to work on the, uh, uh, the communication channels, but we can yeah. discuss that offline. Yeah. So um, I'll work with Kevin to see whether that there were communication sent out to our mailing list. So we'll do that. And then also on discourse. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's something that I think I spotted is that uh, you need to re-register uh, even if you voted already last year. It's implicit, uh, but I didn't hear it in the communication up to now, so. Yeah, so we'll emphasize that in our communication. I can always update the blog post to include that information oh. as well. Um, and uh, I also went and updated the Jenkins.io uh, election process page that uh, just kind of houses the general election information. So uh, I can also put that there if it's not already called out there as well. Awesome. Thanks, Kevin. Okay. okay. I think that's it. We're good. I can close the recording. Yes, please.